Sand Hill Auto Salvage. That spring, I rode to work with Dad in a rolling paradox of Ford Ranchero to that poetically named place of junkyard grace, Sand Hill Auto Salvage, where the guys metronymically called the local cafe the Greasy Spoon, and I took the name literally. Sometimes we had comedy, even absurdity, as when the owner built his pretty daughter a tall three-story tower in which to perfect the fine art of twirling, her baton inscribing in ephemeral figures the blank page of the ceiling, a splendid grotesquerie. Or when sheep, hired as natural mowers, once lambed it out of the scrapyard, and we gray grease monkeys metamorphosed into shepherds suddenly. The boss bought five recalled Fiat's, Convertible models we repurposed as yard cars. My big brother and I zoomed around that sandy junkyard, fly flying like phaethons. Mike, not yet 16, steering our Mediterranean chariot, borrowed off high Helios to harvest used parts with, organs from expiring cars. One week a new god, Thor with his hammer, showed up in the shape of a monstrous crusher and pressed those stripped Mopars into metallic diamonds. Big Cal the Crane tried doing that car stunt they do in the movies. He drove down the hill at full speed in a jitney and threw it in R to make it skid sideways. He rolled it. What terrible cacophony. EMTs came with jaws of life ready, cracked open his grave. Still, the place possessed its own gritty beauty. Mimesis of rainbows and pools of spilled gasoline, torch sparks vanishing, as we cut copper from verdigris radiators, or the numinous phenomenon of real avian sandhills migrating one April over that rolling acreage, a gloss on the wreckage, swift metrical wing beats bidding workers look skyward, as wing beats will. <laughs>